back with another tutorial. I've settled in after my week or so of moving and packing and cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So this is another Rihanna look. I am, I am a fan of Rihanna's aesthetic like I love what she does with her makeup and stuff but the reason I'm, I'm doing another Rihanna look so soon after my last one is that I'm such a big fan of her personal makeup artist her makeup artist is Laura Arellano Arellano Lorelai Arellano if you go on to Instagram it's Laura Laura underscore A-R-E-L-L-A-N-O I think and she is actually the co-founder of Melt Cosmetics which I'm sure loads of you have heard of but she is Rihanna's like hand-picked makeup artist and she is just well she's gorgeous herself but she is a brilliant makeup artist i love her instagram she does brilliant makeups she comes up with the most beautiful looks on rihanna so if you're a rihanna fan definitely follow laura because um she often puts up pictures of rihanna that you wouldn't see anywhere else and um yeah but i loved the editorial she did for harper's bazaar harper's bazaar magazine which was the rihanna of arabia um like shoot and it was just such a striking stunning look i really really wanted to do it so it's kind of a tricky one to do of course when you have such a graphic eye it can be really hard to, like it's a nightmare actually to try and get them perfectly even because even these aren't perfectly even but they'll do and um yeah this is just my interpretation of the look anyhow i think it's just a really funky um what's the word i'm looking for i don't know it's just a really class look. So if you want to see how I do it, keep watching and go to the blog for any other information. So cheers guys. So I've just applied my primers and this is the number seven airbrush away primer. I focus this mainly on the center of my face and just blend it out towards the edges. And I also used my gosh prime and refresh illuminating eye roll on primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It just adds a lovely shot of hydration to the eye area, makes everything go on really smooth. What I have been doing lately is given this guy and I'll bash again, and this is the Illamasqua Skin Base. I've spoken before about how disappointed I've been with this foundation because I find it so hard to work with, but I am absolutely determined to make it work somehow and I have been having a little bit more success with this so I have to make sure I have a really well hydrated face and only work a little area at a time and I always use a small little brush like this. I do find it dries very quickly as you're working it in so you just have to do a little area at a time and then work your way around. One of my complaints about this foundation was that it sits in the pores and it still does but a way I've kind of gotten around that is get a little stippling brush and literally like stipple it like use it what it's supposed to be used for but stipple it into the pores and it almost kind of helps to diffuse the product build up in there um, and makes it less obvious. It definitely works better over a primer I can't really wear it without a primer very well but anyhow let's move on to the under eye area and I'm going to use some of my Pro Longwear in NW20 by MAC. Um, people are confused as to why I use the NW20 sometimes, but the NC15 or the NC or the NW15 are just that little bit too pale on me. Um, it doesn't seem to, it almost gives me that reverse panda eye. So that's why I like to go for the NW20. Or sometimes I'll use the NC20 because um, it's good for like eradicating the purple under the eye. And this is going to be my primer for my eye area. This Pro Longwear Concealer is brilliant as an eye primer because it's a film former, which means that it sets on the lids. Um, essentially, it does something similar to what the paint pots do by MAC. So, you know, it does really help to stop creasing on the lids and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to see her eyebrows and stuff because they're hidden underneath her hair. But you can see she has a mid-tone brown in the crease. What I'm just going to do is apply... First of all, a little bit of this colour here by Zoeva. It's from their Naturally Yours palette. And this is First Love. So it's um, a gorgeous matte, like a creamy white. It goes on beautifully. It can be a bit powdery, but the colour payoff is amazing. I'll just pop that underneath the brow. And then for my crease colour, I'm going to go into, first of all, pure. I just want to get that very, very light colour down first. Almost as a base, so that the other colour doesn't go patchy or grab onto the concealer. And then I'm going to go into Soft and Sexy, which is that beautiful mid-tone brown there. 
it reminds me a little bit of maybe cork by MAC or something like that. And I'm going to apply that into the crease. So it is kind of what it says, it's a lovely soft brown. I'm going to concentrate that on the inner corner as well. Then I'm going to pop my brush back into pure and use that just to soften the edge. Next I'm going to move on to a slightly smaller blending brush. This is by All In, All In Professional and it's like the tapered small kind of crease brush. And I'm going to use pure again first of all underneath the lower lash line. Again this is more as a base. Then I'm going to go back into soft and sexy and really focus that up underneath the lower lash line. So that's my soft kind of eyeshadow base done and now I need to draw in the shape, <laughs> the uh, cat eye kind of shape. So I'm going to use my Physicians Formula 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I'm just going to start to outline the shape first of all. So her cat eye extends pretty much up exactly from her waterline because there's going to be black in the waterline as well that um, you know continues up. And I do always struggle a little bit with these graphic um, graphic looks because my eyes are so deep set the line tends to get distorted a little bit in the crease but anyhow what I'm going to do is throw my head back and just start to draw that. You can see it a little bit above her crease when her eye is open so I can go a little bit higher. And now it's going to swoop down a little bit. And then I need to extend this line a little bit. And then join them up. So again, this would be way easier on a flatter eye shape, but I'll just do what I can anyhow. And for the inner corner, I'm just going to do another little point. And then same with the outer corner, this inner corner will be connecting up with the waterline, so you can nearly just draw it in. So I'm just going to fill all this in now that the outline's done. Or roughly done anyhow, and then I can perfect the outline once it's filled in. So that's pretty much it filled in, and I just went over the outline a little bit to make sure it was like perfected but I had to do that in a smaller mirror just so that I could see what I was doing. Um, what I'm going to do then is go over with this eyeliner again because it is quite a wet eyeliner. I'm just going to put that all over the centre and then while it's still wet I'm going to go into my Urban Decay the Black Palette and go into a little bit of Sabbath here which is a like a navy colour yeah and pick some up on a brush and just pat it in place so this should help with any creasing as well and that falls out like a mofo so I'm definitely going to just clean up a little bit so I'm just going to do the also fun job of trying to get this onto this eye pretty much the exact same I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and we'll finish off the rest of the eyes so that's them pretty even. I think I might need to fix this up a little bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of the eyes first before I go back into that. Because you know sometimes when you look at something too hard, you can't see the like symmetry or the asymmetry of it. So you need to kind of step away from it for a while. That's what I'm doing. But what I wanted to do is in the picture um, of Rihanna where you can see her face without the net covering her, you can see there's a little bit more of a reflection just in the very center of the lid over the navy area. So what I'm gonna do is go into this gorgeous e.l.f. eye transformer palette. They're these basically very, very sheer eyeshadows but they add just a very light hint of like, I don't know, shimmer or sheen. And I'm gonna put the bluey color just over the center of that. So it won't really change the colour, it's literally just going to add a tiny bit of a sheen um, just when the light hits it, which is what I want. So now it's time to add some eyeliner into the waterline and I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandalize, the black cold pencil. 
and just do the waterline first or the upper line the <laughs> tight line first and then I'm going to put black in on the waterline as well and that kind of matches or connects the inner uh, what you call it the inner peak with the outer peak Next I'm going to go back into the soft and sexy colour here by Zoeva with a smaller brush. This is my MAC 228 um, it's like a smudge brush and I'm going to intensify the brown just there underneath the lash line. And what I'm going to do now is just make sure that those are a bit more symmetrical and I'm going to apply plenty of mascara. I'll do this off camera though because you've seen me doing it a million times before and um, it'll save time so I'll be back once that much is done. Probably do my eyebrows off camera as well since I have a video so I'll come back once, once all those bits are done. So I applied plenty of mascara. I used my number seven exceptional definition because it was the only one on my desk but it's fine and then I reapplied concealer underneath the eyes and then just popped some Max Lingering Brow Pencil on my brows because her own brows, like I said, aren't in the focus feature, they're kind of hidden under her um, fringe and they do look a little bit lighter than her black fringe coming down over it, so that's why I went with lingering. Now, for my face, what I do need to do before any like highlighting or um, contouring is, sorry, I'm looking for something now, is just apply some concealer. Again, I'm just going to use this because it's the first one I see on my desk and it's my Catrice Camouflage Concealer. Uh, and just pop that over any blemishes it down the centre of my nose and then before I do anything else as well I just want to pop on some lip primer because I like to give it a chance to set so this is my MAC lip primer especially when you're wearing such a bright red lip you want to make sure that it stays in place then for highlighter what I'm going to use is the MAC Radiant Rose highlighter pen um, it's just a really nice highlighter particularly for light skin without you know going overboard and go really like glittery or shiny. So I'm gonna pop some down the center of my nose along my cupid's bow and whatever those lines are called and then just kind of under the eye and at the side. Then I'm just gonna use a brush to pat it in place and then use my fingers as well. Set that all in place and not to mattify it, whoops, not to mattify it down so much. I'm going to pop on my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And for contour, I'm going to use my MAC um, Accentuate Sculpt, but the Sculpt side, which is one of the Pro Sculpting Powders. And I'll just pop it on using this Full Powder Brush by EcoTools, even though it is small enough to contour with. Just gonna blend that well then into the hairline around the temple. I'm gonna pop a little bit of contour at the end of my nose, like usual, using my blending E36 Sigma Performance brush. For the lips, I'm going to just draw in the shape first of all using my Cherry Lip Pencil by MAC. So her Cupid's Bow is always defined, but particularly in this picture, it's uber defined. Like it's extremely exaggerated, so I'm going to have to exaggerate my own a little bit. It's not even in a V shape, it's more of a, like a U shape. So dips straight over and up again, so I'm going to do that. And then as usual, I'll just fill in the centre. Need to make that a little bit more pointy and then round it off but I'll do that with the lipstick and then I'll just go on to the bottom one. So that's as much as I'm going to do with the lip liner. I'll do the rest with the lipstick now and of course Rihanna is known for her red lips. She released that Ri Ri Woo colour which is basically Ri Ri Woo uh, by MAC and the colour though in the this picture has a little bit more like light reflection to the Ri Ri Woo because uh, Ri Ri Woo and that's so hard to say and Ri Ri Woo, Ri Woo are both retro mattes which means they are totally dry flat mattes. So I'm going to use my Revlon Red, um, which is a cream finish, so it'll have a bit more of a sheen to it. But it's a very, very similar colour. Once that's on, I'll slow down and move on to my lip brush, and that's how I'm going to get the shade perfect. 
and there's the finished look so I really obviously had to overline in the center to get that um, unnatural for me dip in my um, cubit spool but that's pretty much the finished look of my interpretation as usual there will be a full list of products on the blog and down below and then obviously go to the blog for more pictures and stuff like that and then one thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the makeup is when you have very deep set eyes like myself I know I said it's kind of difficult but it will have a weird shape when you dip your head back like that it won't be a lovely like smooth shape for it to look right when you're looking like this just so you know so it does look a bit strange in case you do have deep set eyes like myself and you're not that used to do makeup it will look weird like that for it to look kind of straight this way but i hope you liked my version of this look anyhow it's a gorgeous look i knew i wanted to do it i know i'm like two weeks or three weeks late doing it but i really wanted to do it um as soon as i saw it um so that's it guys thanks a million for watching and i'll chat to you all really soon for another video so long guys